Hey guys, how's it going? Lewis Alling Invest here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going through my investment portfolio update as at the end of June 2021. Let's get straight into it. So for anyone new around here, let's go through my portfolio details and target allocation. So yeah, I started this portfolio on the 1st of May 2020. Uh, this is when I reinvested back into the stock market after the COVID crash. Um, and I'm basically tracking my performance from then. And my benchmark is the FTSE All World Index, which is 95% of the world capitalization of the stock market. So yeah, my target allocation is I am investing in stocks, index funds, um, unlisted investments, so my crowdfunding portfolio. And then alongside this, I've also got Bitcoin, gold, and I will be investing in Ethereum as well at some point. Anyway, yeah, so my total performance at the moment is I am up 28.3% um, versus the FTSE All World Index is up 47.1%. So I'm currently trailing the index, which is not a good thing, of course. And my portfolio value is £10,585, so just about two and a half grand. Um, so yeah, that's basically a summary and let's get into some more juicy bits. From the table, you can see that my venture capital and Bitcoin are absolutely trashing the world index and it is my actual individual stocks and emerging market index funds which are basically causing my performance to be trailing the index over a year or so. Um, and yeah, Bitcoin has been absolutely mental this year in I think it was February, March time, I was up close to a thousand percent, 10x return, and now I'm close to 500%, 5x return. So absolutely crazy stuff. Um, and it is what it is with Bitcoin. You just accept the, the volatility and that's one reason you're holding the asset class because you're expecting to, expect it to go up by quite a bit. Um, a venture capital, this is probably my favorite asset class, um, mainly because I think it's got so much potential. And like I said, early in the video, I think a lot's going to come up from it very soon. Uh, so yeah, not to worry, I'm just going to keep investing as I do and not to worry, I'll just keep investing on my strategy and over time I will beat the index, I'm confident. Guys, it is so important to benchmark your results against an index. Um, so my total investments are trailing the FTSE All World Index by about 20% um, today. So it's been around going on for a year or so. Um, and yeah, so all I have to say to that is, well, if you watch my last month's update, you'll have seen that I lost £450 uh, in a Forex fund, uh, which wasn't a scam. It was just they were incompetent and not very good at trading, and I lost 150 quid. And yeah, because of that, I'm basically, I was up quite a bit closer to the index, but now trailing it by quite a bit, but not to worry. I've got a few things up my sleeve, um, which I will go into in this video. Um, and a lot of it comes down to my crowdfunding investment, which I think are gonna absolutely ex explode over the next 12 months. As you can see from my details in my portfolio, I have made one big drastic change and it's probably the only big drastic change I'm going to make for quite a long time in this portfolio. I have swapped my FTSE All World Index Tracker for a MSCI World Small Cap Index Tracker. A very slight difference, but I think over time it will pay dividends. Um, so essentially I've swapped my World Index for a World Small Cap Index. And this basically means I'm now tracking an index full of small cap companies worldwide. Um, and the reason I've done this is because after doing some research on small cap companies, um, they are often quite more volatile, however, they do produce better returns over the long term, closer to 12 to 15 percent. And if this is the, if this is the case going into the future, this will mean good things for my portfolio, as I am aiming for a 15 percent return annually over time. You know, over time, it's not going to be like that year on year. It's going to be uploads, downloads, and but the average over time, I want 15 percent. So this is going to get me towards my goal of 15 percent over time. Yeah, you'll have also noticed, if you've been paid, paying attention to my portfolio updates, that I am now only 7.5% in cash. Um, cash is trash in the current environment, and it's better to have money invested than not. Um, I personally believe inflation is going to come along, and this will devalue your cash. So having a small amount for opportunities, max 10%, the rest of it you want to invest in, because you can't take the risk of... Um, you know, inflation eroding your cash. So get it invested in whatever you want, whether it's property, stocks, you know, whatever asset class, and get that money working for you. Uh, this is something I've realized after the past six months. I had quite a bit in cash, and I've realized this is this was a mistake, to be honest. Um, and I think going forward, I'm 
always going to have money invested. I'm never going to be one of these people who times the market and sells, has all the money in cash and then goes again when the market drops because you just can't predict it. It's better to be fully invested and let compounding work for you over the long term. And yeah, I wanted to make some comments on my crowdfunding portfolio. So like I said earlier, it's probably my favourite asset class and it's probably one of the most interesting ones as well because the returns can be quite astronomical. Um, so yeah, Coconut uh, are currently doing a crowdfunding raise and their share price has increased and as a result my return is now 4%. However, I'm very excited about uh, Coconut as a company. Um, in the current crowdfunding round, we've been talking about potential exits in three, four, five years time whether it's through an IPO or they get bought out by a big company. Um, yeah, the current valuation's at like 18 million. Um, but yeah, so they're looking at a 200 million plus um, exit, which would mean a 10x return on my investment. And then alongside this, I've got companies like Free Trade, who are gonna be raising again in September, and I'm fully expecting their share price to be close to 10 pounds, uh, which would mean they're close to being the unicorn status company, which is a company worth a billion dollars or a billion pounds. Uh, so very exciting times for my crowdfunding portfolio and I think these are going to make up a lot of my returns and this, as a result, they will cause me to outperform the index over time. That is, I keep picking some decent crowdfunding businesses and at the moment I think I've shown that I can do that and yeah, the results will show that going forward. And also with the crowdfunding, Brewdog are likely to IPO this year or next year. Um, they've had quite a bit, bit of bad publicity recently, um, so it could be 2022 when they do IPO. I do believe COVID did stop them IPO in um, this year or the previous year. Um, so yeah, we'll see if we get a return on them. Out of all my investments, that is probably one of the ones I do regret um, because it's very hard to sell your Brewdog shares and it is it's quite difficult to value what the business is worth. So we will just have to see with that. But yeah, hopefully my own crowded funding investments um, will cover that if it doesn't make much. So there we have it. There's my June 2021 portfolio update and I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, if you're new around here, please like and leave a comment on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you'd like more investing content, then please subscribe to my newsletter. Um, it's jam-packed full of interesting news, what's happening in the week in the markets and the uh, finance world. Um, so yeah, subscribe to the Harding Herald for more investing content and you will not regret it at all. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching today's video. I will see you next time.